Mr. Stoy. Y'all make sure y'all go to Global Dripping and subscribe right now. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell notification. If you're already subscribed, go double check and make sure it's on black for me. With that said, pinned up in the comment section is literally my TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. Y'all especially go to my Instagram and y'all like my last 10 posts and follow me. Show support, like the video, comment, and let's get straight up into it. Y'all read the title. Y'all saw the thumbnail. Why ladies that's over 30, that's beautiful. I'm talking about really beautiful, drop dead gorgeous. Why is they single? I'm going to give y'all seven reasons why these ladies are single. Are y'all ready for these seven reasons why? Now, a lot of ladies going to hate this. So, ladies, just take the ugly truth instead of the pretty lies and write these things down. Get your notebook and write down why I don't have a man. And stop doing these things and watch you get your dream king. Guys, write down, run, stay away from these type hoes. If they doing three out of the seven, if they doing one or two out of the seven, she might can be saved. But if she doing three, four, five out of the seven, most of these bitches seven out of seven, then drop her, leave her alone. Now, I'm not writing this down. This is in me. It's on my heart. It's in my heart. I know this for a fact. So for y'all, nowadays, y'all need proof. Okay, this is the proof. I run this dating channel. I get two to three FaceTime calls a day for $100. You can book me. In the pit comment section is my Instagram. You can book me. I have wives, fiancés. I have girlfriends, I have single ladies, call me every day, pay to talk to me, to tell me their secrets, and it remains anonymous. You understand what I'm saying? So I know how it works. So what I done was, the 10 women that's the most pretty, I'm talking about drop dead gorgeous, I noticed it's seven things is why they're single, and some had three, some had four, some had seven out of seven. So y'all get ready. Here we go. Number one, she's too friendly. She's entertaining too many men. When she go by Starbucks, hey, thank you so much at work. Oh, she too flirty. You don't got to be that flirty. She just entertained too many niggas. She love attention. A woman that's happy with her relationship only need attention from that man. Point, 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 point proven. I promise you. That right there make a man want to leave. He will leave you fast. A beta male, it'll take a little longer, but he gone. A alpha male, he won't say a word. He gone. A stoic guy, he wouldn't even deal with it. You understand what I'm saying? So, ladies, stop being so fucking friendly. No man want a woman that's always giggling in another man's face. All right, number two. Ladies, stop telling guys your whole life story in the first 24 fucking hours. Ladies, after I told him that I was in a group home, I told him that I killed my cousin. I told him that this and that, and he left me alone. Why the fuck did you tell all this shit? The only thing that I think that you're required to tell somebody is if you got a sex change. If you a tranny or something, you should tell somebody. I'm not picking on the LBGTQ community. I'm just being real. I think if you have HIV or herpes, you should tell somebody. I think if you really just want sex, you should tell somebody. Point blank period. You'll be surprised to what people will agree to if you just tell them the fucking truth. Number three, you're not submissive enough. You're trying to be masculine. You're not submissive enough. I know some of y'all thinking, I cook, I clean, I still can't keep a man because you catch attitudes too fast. Don't mean when he say jump, you supposed to say hi, hi, but you don't say no motherfucker, you jump. Guys don't like that, that'll get them on out of there. Number four, you still want to be in the streets, but you got a guy. You still want to go out with your friends. 
which is fine. But you can't go out like you used to. You want a girl tripping. You want to go to every event. You want to be on every fucking set. It's no chill time because you always want to do something. No guy's going to take that. I'm sorry. You can't sit around your sisters at home, girls, and smoke all day now that you got a man. Meaning this, girls want to keep that same single routine, but keep their man. What the fuck? What the fuck? It don't make sense. Ladies, you have to make your man a priority or he will find somebody that will. Now, with that said, pinned up in the comment section, my TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, follow me on all social media platforms. Make sure you like this video. 500 likes, you'll get a part two. Or 50 comments that say part two. One person can come in it 50 times. I could care less. Two people could do it 25. I could care less. Now, now, let's go to number five. Let's go to number five. And if I already done number five, then consider it a bonus. I don't mind giving a little extra. You dig what I'm saying? So with that said, number five, ladies, it coexists with number four. You're giving everything away too quick. This man that got your pussy, he done got your head, he done got your life story, he done got your complaints, he done got your nightmares, all in 24 hours. It's nothing left for him to explore, ladies. Guys like to chase. Guys like a woman that's mysterious. You done let him know everything about you. Number six, this is a pet peeve of mine that I hate the most. Guys, never let another woman talk about guys around you. When a woman always, always, always talking about other guys, he did me wrong. He cute. He handsome. That's disrespect. Girls can be watching a movie with you and be like, oh, he handsome. Kick her ass out. It ain't that you jealous. That's disrespectful. That's disrespectful than a son of a bitch. Okay, now we on what? Six, seven? Y'all might be getting an extra bonus. Because I can talk about this all day, but I'm not. A girl that's always on her phone. Y'all watching a movie. Y'all out in public. Y'all walking. She always on her phone. She's hiding something in plain sight. A woman has no business always on their phone when they cuddle with you. And then when she get close to you, and it's time to really, really, really just chill. All of a sudden, her phone disappears. It goes on the charge or something because she don't want to mess up what she got. got what, ooh, I like the fuck. I told you it's a pet peeve. Like I meant, she don't want to fuck up what she got going on. Number seven. Those women that still stuck. That is a reason why. You still stuck in the past. Whether it's your... Baby daddy, your ex-husband, your exes, you try to look for signs that run the new man off by comparing him. Guys and ladies, y'all know y'all do this, and guys, you know you done heard this. Oh, I know that you lying because I remember my ex. Oh, you give me vibes, my ex. Oh, my God, don't do me like he did. Oh, my God. Nobody want to hear that. Let me tell you what you're doing, ladies, especially to a stoic guy like me. You're giving me all the ammo. Let me give y'all a few examples and I'm going to let you go. A girl told me that she needed her toes done. She kept talking. She said she felt like a girl should never have to pay for her own toes to get done. She said this is the first time she ain't got a cash app. Why the fuck would I cash app you then? Another girl told me, hey, look, my husband beats me. He spits on me. He bring women in our house. I cries. They he done continue on fucking and stuff while I done walked in on him. So why would I respect you after you just told me that? I was finna treat you like a queen. I don't give a fuck. I should invite another girl over here because I know that you will go for it, you dumb bitch. Like let's just be real. God's only gonna do what you allow. Unless he a rapist. What the fuck? Make it make sense. Number eight. I said I would give y'all seven. Number eight. 
I might be on 9 to 10 right now. I might be on 8. I might be accurate. Y'all let me know in the comment section. Number 8. Ladies, you can't be stuck on your ex or your baby daddy. You can't let your ex mess it up for your next. Because your ex is not going to let you mess it up. Meaning this, you still want to sneak baby daddy pictures of the baby. You still want to talk to baby daddy. When baby daddy come over, y'all want to smoke and chill. You can't have baby daddy and your new man too. I'm sorry. So that that's eight to nine or even seven reasons why a lot of girls in their 30s are still single. Now, to summarize it, ask yourself this, guys. If these girls are drop dead gorgeous, and I'm talking about 100% beautiful, why the fuck did the two or three baby daddies they got didn't stay? Because their personality, their attitude, that ugliness outweighed their outer beautiness. You that beautiful and can't keep a man? Shut up. Stop. Ladies. If a guy took you from your guy and he was the side guy, he would not take you serious. Ladies, I'm sorry. If you get that guy your whole life story, you tell him everything you done been through and gave him head and pussy in 24 hours, he's not going to take you serious. Ladies, if you're on social media on your phone all the fucking time and ain't enjoying the present, ain't enjoying him, you just on your phone, you would not keep a man. Ladies, if you are running to every event behind your family members, you run into every fucking party, you on every set, on every concert, you cannot keep a man. Ladies, if you want to be masculine and you want to tell the man to shut up, you want to tell the man, fuck you, mad or not, you want to be tough, you want to holler out shit like, I pay my own bills, don't no nigga control me, you want to be independent, well, bitch, well, be it. Bitch, well, be it. You understand what I'm saying? And another thing, this is a bonus. Guys, listen. The worst thing ever, the worst thing ever to kill an ex or to kill her whole ego, her whole fucking existence. And red room spelled backwards. I ain't talking about murder. That's red room spelled back. I'm not talking about red room spelled back. I'm talking about her ego kill her ego. Nobody had never went to prison for killing her ego. The way you kill her ego is to not entertain her bullshit and live your life. Not entertain her bullshit and live your life. If a woman reaching out to you and it go hot and cold and hot and cold, she's only reaching out to you because she's bored or she need validation because the man that she in love with, she's unhappy with. So when she happy with him, she ghosts you. Whenever she's unhappy with him, she make you visible again. Guys, do not let this go over your head. It's a difference between being a sucker or a side nigga. Listen, a lot of you guys know she's married or know she's in a relationship. But you think you playing side nigga, but you're really playing the next nigga. Because you're sitting there doing what the husband's supposed to do. The husband probably out fucking like a single man. You listening to her problems, this and that. If you're dating a woman that's in a relationship, you have no reason to be talking or texting to her unless it's about getting up fucking or it's about some money or something. I swear to God. Now, with that said, y'all like, comment, subscribe. Y'all really go to my Instagram at The Real Tab Flames. It would mean the world to me if y'all went there. That's all I ask. And y'all just literally hit that like button. Y'all hit that like button. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook, but especially Instagram. Y'all have a great, amazing day. Like this video. Remember, 500 likes or 50 comments that say part two. I'm going to give y'all eight, nine, ten, seven. I don't know how many I done. If you really, 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 really fuck with me, let me know in the comment section how many things that I give y'all because I lost count because I don't write this down. It comes straight from the heart. Now, ladies going to get mad, but ladies, you need to really understand that's why you're single. Guys, 
if five other guys ain't stayed, think about it. Let's say a woman told you she slept with 10 guys. They say you could times that by three. That makes 30. If 30 guys didn't stay, it's not you, gang. It's her. It's her. It's her. Those girls that switch niggas every week, every month. Every, I mean, you know those girls you see on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram. Every other week is a new guy. This is my new boo. This is my new boo. You's a whore. You can't hold on to a man. Everybody say, that new boo will be gone in a couple of days. But with that said, y'all like this video. Y'all are the algorithm. Go to my Instagram. Run it up. Like the video. Like the video. Go check out my community tab. Like all of that in the community tab. And go check out my old videos. Go click on the popular tag. Man, I got some bangers. I ain't going to hold you. I ain't going to hold you. Now, last but not least, on my money channel, I'm finna drop a video. If you want 30K in 30 days, follow Global Dripping Money Holders. I got you. Now, I'm out. Gang.